thank goodness the day is over. It is now time to go home and enjoy my slow and relaxing self-care night routine. Typically I do go straight home over an afternoon but the Savo I needed to make a quick pit stop into Woolies to pick up some bits and pieces for dinner. One of the first things that I like to do when getting home is unpack all my bits and pieces from the day I had been staying down the coast for a couple of days when I came home the Savo. So I had a few more bags than usual that I needed to unpack and sort out. But I did want to get a dog walk in pretty well as soon as I got home as well because I knew that Dave would be heading off for soccer training shortly. I'm going to get on a workout outfit and head into the spare room to do a quick weights workout. I've been liking sort of deviating between doing some light weights, some Pilates and yoga. While I've been pregnant, I don't want to put too much of strain on my body and I'm often finding myself coming home being exhausted. So really getting in the mood to do exercise has been challenging, but I know that it makes me feel so so much better both physically and mentally. Baths have been even more of a lovely indulgence for me since becoming pregnant and I was finding that I was getting a few muscle cramps every now and then so I have incorporated some Epsom salts into my bathing routine to get me that little bit of extra magnesium. One thing I definitely want to incorporate more of is 
dry brushing on a regular basis. Not only does it help to reduce cellulite, but also water retention and exfoliation as well. For becoming pregnant, I would actually very rarely moisturize my body, but now I'm making sure to do it on a daily basis. I often alternate between this Bang & Body one, which smells so lovely and tropical, and then I have a Palmer's sort of more oil-based, thicker uh, moisturizer that is specifically designed for stretch marks. I've also been loving doing my skincare routine. I'm very much a fan of the pregnancy hormones and what they're doing for my skin at the moment but with my consistently tired looking complexion I do like to take that little bit of extra time to give my skin some love. Dave forgot to defrost the burger patty, so we are switching up tonight's dinner and instead having chicken tender wrap. I've just watched some lettuce leaves. We're also going to have some mayonnaise. The chicken tenders are about ready to go in the oven and we'll put them on these whole grain wraps and top them with some cheese. They are very quick and easy and also tasty to eat as well. So I've just got myself some chocolate, a very rare occurrence, some peppermint tea, my heat pack and my laptop set up with some Law & Order SVU ready to unwind for the night and sort of get ready for bed. But I wanted to record my updated nighttime routine for you guys for two reasons. Number one. I am pregnant and I feel like it's going to be a very fleeting time and I want to be able to have these lovely memories to look back upon one day and just reminisce on this time in my life. And then the second thing is by the time you see this, a lot of things that have been kind of crucial to my nighttime routine this evening are going to change. And then even more things will change still throughout the rest of the year. So. 
Dave's gone to soccer training tonight, but by the time you're watching this, soccer will be done and dusted and I'll have him back every Tuesday and Thursday evening, which I'm very much looking forward to, as well as gaining back my Saturdays. That will be fun too. Also, it is quite likely that we're gonna be entering school holidays by the time I post this. So I'll be kind of wrapping up my work for the year and starting this very exciting journey of maternity leave. Um, so I'm super looking forward to that and probably not long from the time you're watching this video, we will be packing up and moving into our brand new house. So the whole idea of coming home here from work of an afternoon is just going to change dramatically. And I'm so looking forward to this new phase of my life. I also just wanted to quickly share with you guys before I wrap up the video, a few kind of non-negotiables that are so crucial in my afternoon slash evening routine for mental health, but also just general well-being. So the first one is, as I'm driving home from work, I like to have something on or happening that's kind of allowing me to disconnect from the day. I have a tendency to ruminate a lot and it's not really positive or productive. So listening to my country radio station, putting on a podcast, or more often than not, I'm giving Dave or my mum a call and just having a chat with them really just helps me to disconnect the work frame of mind and really just get into a happy and positive place. The next thing that I like to do is have some sort of exercise. Obviously this evening I was doing some weights, but on a general day-to-day -day basis, if all I can fit in or all I have the energy or capacity for is a walk outside with the dog, that is more than enough for me. It allows me to relax and unwind after a busy day at work and also spend some quality time with Dave and Mac and also just being outside as well. Then the third thing that is a must do for me is I cannot go to sleep with a messy, dirty or chaotic house. So vacuuming, making sure the kitchen's clean, making sure I'm on top of the washing and having all of my things prepped for school the next day, laid out, including my clothes, which I have now just realized I've not got my school clothes out for the day and I need to go do that ready for tomorrow. Just helps me go to bed feeling like everything around me is calm and beautiful and I can drift off into a relaxing sleep. Number four, I love to spend some quality time with Dave, just catching up on our day and just spending time in each other's presence. And then number five, I also like to do something for myself that is not based around being productive or getting things done. I often do a lot of my YouTube editing at nighttime, but I also just like to do things just for the pure pleasure of it, whether it's sitting down and reading a couple of chapters of my book or catching up on my favorite TV shows or YouTubers, something that's just for me is always a non-negotiable part of my evening. We have reached the conclusion where it is time for me to put on my episode of SVU and settle in for the night. Dave will be home shortly. I'll be putting the boy off for bed, but thank you guys so much for joining me on this pregnant evening routine. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every single week. With that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.